After scoring 28 runs on 30 hits on Thursday, East Carolina found runs hard to come by in today's series finale against UCF. They played all day in the rain. Josh Groves got the start for the Pirates. He was dealing at four strikeouts through the first two frames. However, he ran into trouble in the third, following a pair of singles to start the inning. Tom Joseph's RBI ground out to first. Gives UCF their first lead of the series, 1-0. They stretch that lead to two in the sixth. Ben McCabe launches this pitch high and deep to left, and they hit some great home runs in this series despite losing all three games. Gross allowed two runs in six innings of work. Wasn't until the seventh that East Carolina scratched a run across. Runners on first and second. Luke Nowak lays down the sacrifice bump, but the throw to first gets down the right field line. In comes Josh Moreland. It's 2-1. Moments later, Alec Makarevich hits a grounder to second. He's out at first, but Jacob Stalling scores, and that ties things up at 2-2. Two and two. We would go to extra innings tied at 2, and that's when the rain arrived. And out comes the tarp with an hour and 20-minute rain delay. They finally got back to baseball about 4.30. When they got back, Goldsboro native Landon Ginn on the hill. Five strikeouts for him in the extra innings. He would get the win. Here's how he got it. Bases loaded with two outs in the 12th. Justin Wilcoxon gets one over the... UCF center fielder's left fielder's head, rather. Lane Hoover will score on the play, and that is the ball game. As the Pirates celebrate the series sweep, they win 3-2, the final in 12 for head coach Cliff Godwin. We didn't execute very good offensively, especially in extra innings. Uh, our pitching kept us there. You know, seems like two days ago, but Josh Gross was really good. Uh, Wyatt was unbelievable. And then Tony again was unbelievable. So um, I'm just happy that Jade Hope got a swing off and got it into the jet stream so it can go home. 